Yo, this L Snap, oh, you already know what it is, man. You checking in with my studio session uh, with Cam uh, Studio. Who made the fucking beat? Chicken, nigga. How you down at 60? You ain't never seen a 50, nigga. How you down at 40? You don't never keep that 30 with you. Ballin' on the court, I got a Steph Curry jersey, nigga. You really played a big part of my life from since I was small. Like, I just always was attracted to music. The things that I was hearing in music, it just, like, really, like, shaped, like, like, damn. What I'm hearing in music, like, we actually out here living this shit. Like, I'm, I'm around this same shit. Money, car, clothes, hoes, dope. This, that, this, that, like, I was introduced to music by my daddy. Like, he always told me, like, you know, I should rap or whatever, and I, like, once I lost him, I took it serious. I remember when I was, like, three years old, he sat me on my lap and told me, like, sat me on his lap and told me, like, you should do, like, music. Like, you my golden child, just rap. All you gotta do is rap. And I kind of like took that shit serious. And then like right before he died, he was telling me again, like just give yourself one year, just one year, just focusing on you and music and everything else gonna happen. I'd be damn, he died like right before I blew up. I blew up that one year. When I moved from Florida and I went to Texas, when that one year came from the date that I went to Texas, that one year came, I swear to God, I blew up. Like, he must have already knew that shit. What influenced my music back then to make the music I make now was probably like, like, just like seeing like crime going and like real shit that was happening like in my neighborhood and like other rappers that was blowing up. And I was just looking at them like Lil Wayne, shit like that that made me want to make gangster music. A lot of challenges I faced when I was young was just like being like a popular loner sometimes like. I just had to go through a lot of shit alone, so it really like made me have a tough skin. Like I don't really, I don't really care for company. Like I'm, I'm okay being alone. Being alone really made me feel like I don't really got nobody to depend on, so I can't really count on nobody. So I know like I gotta do this shit for me. Like if it, don't nobody else want it, I want it type shit. So. Me just not having nobody to depend on, that support system, nowhere to lay my head. It's like I was constantly in the streets. I had to figure that shit out. When I shook that, it just, everything went better for me. Like, the biggest lesson I learned in the past was like, showboating like guns and like promoting violence and shit. Like when I went to the feds for like a music video with guns and shit, like once I got back out, I, I know not to do that dumb ass shit. So like, my biggest thing was going to like, jail or prison and it reconstructed my whole shit. So we'll be in the studio, the beat will come on or whatever, I'd probably either be drunk, smoking weed, just, you know, trying to catch that vibe. And then once, like, whatever I go to mumbling and then those words come out, whatever cadence I feel, I just go lay that shit down and then it just, once I get my first sentence, the song finished after that. Everything for me be freestyle, like, I don't write music, point blank, period. Probably I'll never write music. I don't write music. It's just the vibe with me. Like, I don't really too much try to force nothing. Like, if I'm going through something, I'm not going, oh, I'm gonna make a song about this. I should do that. That might be a potential hit song, but what I'm doing right now, I don't need to, like, change nothing. Like, whenever I'm in the studio, I'm vibing, whatever come to brain, it just come, and whatever I lay down, it's just a masterpiece. Like, right now, as I wouldn't consider myself no hip hop rapper, no, no drill rapper, no none of that shit. Like right now I'm really like birthing the sound of Zooty music. Like that's that's what I stand for, Zooty music. Like that's the type of music I make. I don't know, it's just like raw music, good sounding music, good quality of music. Within the next few years, I plan on at least getting Grammy nominated. Well, we'll say from the next five years, we'll just put it like that. I wanna be at least Grammy nominated. I wanna be a double XL freshman. I want to perform at the BET Awards. I want to perform at Rolling Loud. Um, I do want to have a number one song on Billboard. I always loved music, so it was always like, I know at the end of the day, I'm not where I want to be now, but like, I know God blessed me with a talent, so if I keep doing this shit, eventually I'll be where I need to be. The message I want to send everybody that listens to me just, you can too, like, ain't, this shit ain't, ain't nothing special for me. 
from me to you. Like, ain't nothing different. Like, ain't nothing special about me. You can do the same shit I'm doing. Like, just look at me as inspiration for you to do the same shit I did or even more. Now, I tell my younger self, like, I love you. Like, look at all this shit we came, like, look at what we built. Like, we here. Like, this what you wanted? We got it. I love you. I'm, I think you ain't never gave up on me. Like, thank you for that. They say I'm painting pictures. Nigga claiming out his smoke, I'm trying to take the temperature.